we're going to be looking at the Deity Theo system and simplifying how wireless audio works, but more specifically in the UHF spectrum. Now I'm sure you've seen many videos explaining how UHF audio works, but in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how it works using the Deity Theos and in a simplified format that you'll definitely understand better. So stick around because we've got some fun stuff to uncover. Now, in case you don't understand or know what UHF means, UHF stands for ultra high frequency. It works in the 300 megahertz to three gigahertz range. While the 2.4 gigahertz system, like the Rode Wireless Go, DJI Wireless Mic, the DUD Pocket Wireless, they all work in the 2.400 to 2.430 gigahertz range. And this range happens to be the range that a lot of our cell phones and wireless routers use. So the chances of your audio interfering with the frequency around a wireless router or a cell phone is more likely to happen with 2.4 gigahertz compared to UHF. And believe me, I have had my fair share of audio dropouts using the DD Connect system, which is 2.4 gigahertz, and it's not fun. Now, how does UHF audio work with the DD Theos? I'm gonna give you the short, unexplained answer first, and then following it up with a justified answer while also still keeping it simplistic. Are you following me? The short answer is the audio receiver takes information from the transmitter using a paired frequency in the UHF spectrum. Let's say 600 megahertz. At the moment, this transmitter is currently connected through 656.3 megahertz. Now, why such a high number? Remember that UHF stands for ultra high frequency. That audible information received from the receiver then gets sent to the mixer through its audio input. When you connect the male XLR end of your cable into the female input of your mixer, that right there establishes the connection between your receiver and your mixer. Without it, the receiver won't have a destination to send the audio to. Now, let's break this down a little more in depth while also keeping it simple. But before we do that, if you're enjoying this video, I want to invite you to hit the like button and subscribe for future videos on audio production, filmmaking, and content creation. Thank you. Connected to this transmitter is the lab mic that I'm currently speaking into. And when I speak into this tiny microphone, the audio waves coming out of my mouth are then captured by the microphone capsule and transferred onto the transmitter or transferred to the transmitter. When I speak, my audio waveforms create vibrations, which then the microphone capsule uses those vibrations and sends a signal to the transmitter. So the vibrations coming from my mouth are getting sent from the microphone capsule all the way to the transmitter. From here, the transmitter is sending that audible information to the receiver through wireless connection. Now, the only way the transmitter can connect to the receiver right here is if they're paired through a mutual frequency. On my transmitter, it says I'm using frequency 656.3 in the UHF spectrum. And on my receiver end, it says the frequency is 6. 56.3. So the receiver and the transmitter are both communicating with each other through the same frequency. Without this connection through UHF frequencies, the receiver would not be able to communicate with the transmitter properly. Once there's a paired connection and the receiver is communicating with the transmitter, it then gets the information it receives from the transmitter and sends it into the mixer. And this is where the audio is then recorded. And as stated before, the only way the receiver can communicate with the mixer is if it is connected by a 3.5 to X XLR cable. Now for this video, I'm using my Zoom F6. So the cable I'm talking about is definitely necessary, but if you're using another mixer, like the Zaxcom or sound devices, there's a possibility you may need a different cable. Hopefully you developed a better understanding of how the Deity Theos, nonetheless wireless audio, works. Considering this is a video, I encourage you to watch over the explanations again, just to give your mind a fresh review of everything you learned. And if you have any questions about what was discussed in this video, then please leave them down in the comments Below. And if you're watching this video, chances are that you also have the DD Theos. So I would like to know what you're using the DD Theos for, and if you're not using the DD Theos, what wireless system are you using? If you haven't watched my first video on the DD Theos system, then I highly encourage you to click on that video right here. You can also watch another video where I explain how I connect the DD Theos to an external audio mixer. Thank you for choosing the Hack Experience, and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments.